Hey guys, welcome to Bubble Man's World. I'm here in beautiful Kingston, Jamaica, although it's a little bit hazy behind us right now. It was much bluer sky uh, before we started sessioning. And I'm with my business partner, Ashley, uh, who's here on the ground, one of our guys on the ground, dude. Welcome to Bubble Man's World. Appreciate it, man. And I guess welcome to Kingston for me. Yeah, welcome to Kingston. Awesome. So um, I want to talk a little bit about the conference that happened recently uh, that actually happened in this hotel, correct? No, it was only at the convention center. Oh, it was at the convention yeah. center. Okay, I thought it was a Pegasus hotel. Yeah. So there was another uh, Ganja conference, and I guess this one involved quite a few ministers. Uh, quite a few ministers, uh, a bunch of um, international companies were down here. Yeah, um, from the camera. And a bunch of um, Rastafari groups were also presenting a bunch of girls, so it's a mixture of everybody else. So. Yeah. Oh, very cool. How did that go? It was a two, two or three day conference? Yeah, it was two days. Um, you know, it was a lot of uh, presentations and a lot of uh, question and answer period. So people got to meet a lot of growers on the ground and a lot of different people. And, you know, and it was a lot, a lot of information was being, was being derived. So it, so it brought a lot of growers out of the hills. Yeah, I mean, it was probably, I would say, half, half growers there. Or half growers, sure, at least. Oh, very cool. All different parishes in there, yeah. I would have loved to have made that conference. Just travel plans didn't permit. Yeah, so. but, here this week Great. anyway. Good to have you all here down here. Yeah, no, it's super exciting. Obviously, uh, Tony from UCAN is with us as well. And uh, we'll be seeing our, our partners, uh, John Sayers and Vivian, here on the ground in Kingston as well. And we'll try to keep you guys informed the best we can with what's going on. And, uh, uh, you know, in regards to the project that we're trying to get going here, and in regards to even the amendments to the laws, and in regards to updates on what's going on. I, I just read the uh, Observer myself. I guess uh, there's probably kind of rumors out on the streets as well as the things that are being said uh, out in the public. Yeah. Yeah, and so what's the feeling for you? It's gonna be in another month or two, um, a week or two. I think you know. I think it'll get done probably probably by the next month or so. I guess month or two. We're looking at probably yeah. Uh, uh, Thirty to sixty days yeah, isn't too bad. That's a good. That, uh, so. I think that's you know. I'm I'm also in the guessing game of one to six months because I just you know it just seems kind of too good to be true that this is really happening. Right. But they're amending this drug okay. law in like Jamaica, a country that is so. I mean, not the whole country, but definitely like a good chunk of people from this country have represented cannabis in, in, my, in my opinion, in one in a very impressive way. Yes. You know, reggae culture and Rasta culture, uh, just promoting the sort of love and peace and this vibe of you know we use cannabis, not yeah. alcohol. We use cannabis, not cocaine. We yeah. use cannabis, not you know all these other drugs. So I kind of really. I agree with that sort of philosophy, the sort of the ITAL philosophy. Yeah. Of, uh, it's a pure rascal body out here. Yeah, absolutely, it really is. And just, you know, it's probably 85, 90 degrees right now. Beautiful day. Quite as that. always. It'll be the same at night. Right. <laughs> you gotta be loving that. And then, oh, and then I guess, uh, love it down here. Yeah. We should probably have a D mail rip. Let's do it. Yeah, so we're, uh, I guess I've got to go get the hash from over there, but uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. So I'll be right back. All right, well. Look at that, we waited five minutes and the weather basically changed and we got the blue sky that we wanted. So you want to hit this, Ash? Absolutely. All right, brother, go ahead. Ooh, man, does that look lovely melting in the sunshine. Awesome. Look at that, some of this flow OG. Just shooting you the goodness. Okay. But want to be putting that plastic container on the old or is that one last? So mother shipping in Kingston couldn't be happier. Um, hoping on introducing you guys to some new artists that Ashley's going to turn me on to. <coughs> we'll give you a little bit of uh, their music, a little interview with each one, and of course 
Uh, we're gonna end up seeing some ganja fields while we're here, or at least a ganja field or two. Uh, we might meet up with some of our indoor grower friends. We're definitely gonna hear from Prophecy and Richie, see how those guys are doing, and what's going on with them and their careers, and nice. music and whatnot. And, uh, geez, I don't know, it's only day one, right? I've already had a ton of good fruit, a ton of good seafood. Mad dabs out of the Fab A, and uh, the sun is beating down. Back in Kingston, Jamaica. <laughs> back in Kingston, Jamaica, dude. <coughs> awesome. Well, we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Easy, easy. Never give in. Never give in. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Don't you worry. Yeah, man, I hear that Richie Spice, and I love that one, you know? Yeah, man, I was feeling that. Yeah, man, speak to the mind. Yeah, Spice really good track. one of my all-time favorite artists. Good to have you uh, here with us in Kingston, Prophecy. It's always a joy, you know, Bubble Man. You know welcome, welcome back to Bubble Man's world. You never Bubble really Man's leave. Man. I never leave. You never leave, you not really, since you first you came in. You just went came back and went to and came back, but I'm always here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But even in Bubble Man's world, you're always there, too. It's my like world. It's, Bubble Man's world is my it world. It is, it is, you know. You're absolutely, uh, you're, you're kind of uh, that, that wonderful sound in the background that sometimes, for me, often, I feel that it's almost, well, for instance, for, this, for the video we did with your song. Yeah, Puff and Pass. The Puff and Pass. So if you guys haven't seen that on Bubble Man's World, go give that a check and share it in your social media because it's a real cool thing. We're, pro we're monetizing it yes. and we're making some money for Prophecy on that video. 100% of the monetization goes to Prophecy and uh, as well as it should because it's a killer song. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, I did that song. When I did that song sometime, you know, something the song I of the time. Mm -hmm. But I think... The intelligent side of weed, I was always seeing where always see weed as more than the stigma that surrounds Jamaica, ganja burners or the youth on the street side, you know. Mm -hmm. I always see it as the education, as, as, as you know, what you can do, the beneficial use from it medically. Sure. So when I, came in, deeper. Yeah, when I came in contact with the item and find out Oh, the TLC and the cannab cannabinoids and cannabinoids. 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 It's a tricky, stuff like tricky that. mouthful of a word. Yes. Uh, uh, and stuff like that. I really say yes. Now I find the set of ones that more really. Yeah, can we understand more about this global exactly. issue, you know? Totally. It's yeah. even an overstanding. Yeah, more. When you yeah, think more about the difference when people are like, oh, I like how they say in some songs uh, an overstanding, uh, yes. more so than an understanding. That's understanding. And there's even a great lyric. I, I'm not sure if it's a Sizzla lyric or a, oh, who it's. I used to overstand, but now I uh, un, oh, I used to understand, but, but now, now I, I overstand. overstand. I think it was in a Kamosi who has a song called Red Eyes. However, she a birds do you know? Yeah. And sometimes I'm saying what I'm saying is not all the truth, you know. Sure. So you have to flip them and say things. Mm -hmm. great, great so how have things been going for Prophecy? Have you been uh, in the studio at all lately? Have you been working on new tracks? I've been in the studio ever since. Um, Non-stop. I've completed about like 11 tracks already for my second album. It's like a free month and it's coming out soon. But I'm going to be in the studio now um, from the 7th to the 10th of February as well. Okay. I'm completing about 7 new tracks. Oh, just to mix and mingle with the 11 tracks from my album. Yeah. You really get a balance and a feel, you know? Mm -hmm. I like so really that. like 12, but you know, you need to have like 20 or 18 songs. You really be able to flow it from the mood. Yeah. That makes sense. Yes, yeah, so. And so, um, uh, the song Body Bags, We Don't Want No Body Bags, how, when, how old is that song? Well, that song was always with me, but. Um, when the Tivoli incursion come about, yeah. I saw the need to really push forward and really strengthen the people, you understand me? Let them know that the voice of the voice is here. I'll tell you, for the title of the song, if I told you the name of a rap song was Body Bags, it would not be a positive song, but his reggae song, Body Bags. But my reggae song is No Body Bags. No, exactly, No, yeah, body, no body Bags. Body bags. So it's like so it's it, a prevention. Cha it changes everything, right? Yeah, it's it's really a positive song and it's empowering. It come like is a, a, a basically. Don't nobody back, I wanted to name that song still Rural Resolution. Okay. Because in every way of the world, you know, people are dying and people are suffering, and yes. it all come down to body bag and to attack. Mm -hmm. People go to war for the wrong reason. Everyone gets in the Homicide for the wrong reason. You know, a man driving in car recklessly crash it down somebody for the wrong reason. You understand me? Uh, a killer go out there last night, kill somebody just for fun. Body bags again. Someone that's basically I tell him. They don't know why I don't see nobody box, body box, nobody box, nobody box, yeah. 
No image wrapped in white sheet with them to die. You know? Yeah, man. Sounds and then we great. speak to our own country. You know? Mm-hmm. So, so we speak to Kingston because everybody emulate Kingston. You're in America, you're in New York, you're in Japan, everybody want to come to Kingston. Mm-hmm. We want to go to TG. Yeah. We want to go to Southside, you know? Yeah. We want to go to Pienland, we want to go to CVO. For sure. So even I and I were born in St. Thomas, I always tell myself I'm, I'm, I'm driven by Kingston. Mm-hmm. We want to conquer the city. Yeah. When you come in the city, you're fighting, there's so much danger as well as there's so much love and there's so much, you know, you can do. So, you know. They'll kick stone that they have already killed some, so I won't cry for see so yes. Bubble man, I beg you, poke this on the church and stay to white the banner of peace. Well, to all them leaders of the world to exercise justice, yes. He prophecy don't want to see my innocent people get caught in the street. Bubble man, swear on the man. That he'll find a way to headline my people so they can make it through their days. He said, I don't to see nobody box, body box, nobody box. Yeah, man, he's just not done so. Let's violate some more food for God. Yeah, respect, no body box. Respect. That's the point. Always, always great to have you on Bubble Man's World. Yeah. We're going to hear a bunch more from Prophecy on this trip, so keep watching, guys. Bless. Oh, fam, pass. Then we both fanka. Oh, fanka. We both have the weed that keeps me going. The purpose of the weed that soothe my head. We both have the weed gave by this expression. And it's the purpose of the weed let I view the time. Weed is not here to check the mind here. Yeah? It's only here to do its purpose of time. Remember that. Let's go down.